easy for a couple of days. I can't take this much longer. Sorry about that, Liver. Anyways, I have in my hands the Bangkok list to rule them all. Where Mark Ween started this list 10 years ago, I'm going back to each spot one a day this month and I'm gonna re-rank the list. Let's see what we got at number 15. What? A three-headed elephant? Don't you feel foolish. The place we're heading is a bit of a hike. It's about 21 kilometers that way, southeast of Bangkok in the Samut Prakan district. You can get there by taking a bus, number 511, and that runs through Khao San Road, runs all along Sukhumvit. You could catch it down near Asok. You could also take a taxi. That'd cost you about 300 baht, but Bangkok has an amazing transit system. And even though it's that far away, you can just jump on the BTS Sky Train and it'll get you there. Now, if you do take the BTS, the place we're going is actually between two stations. The first one is Hu Chao. And if you wanna take a taxi from here, cause there is still some work to do, then that's the one to get out at. Otherwise you'll get involved in the dreaded Bangkok U-turn. Ah! But I'm not taking a taxi. So I got out at this stop here, Chang Erawan. We're going still about a kilometer away. And the reason I'm walking is because I just love the visuals that Bangkok offers up to you when you decide to just take a walk, especially if you're in a neighborhood like you've never been to, like, like I am today. This walk's a little bit longer than I expected, so I got time to tell you that today's winner is Indonesia. Yep. Indonesia has watched the 15th most videos on my YouTube channel since I started it. And man, Indonesia, shout out to you. You got a magical place. One of the best places that I ever went in my whole life was a place called Lake Toba down in Sumatra. Google it, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so I've arrived at the Erewhon Museum. Mark Weens had this at number 15 on his list 10 years ago. Let's go inside and see where it belongs on today's list. It costs 450 baht for tourists to go in there. But if you have a Thai driver's license or a work permit, which I happen to have, then you could get in for the same price as the Thai locals, which is 250 baht. Thank God that they didn't have a Thai language test to get the local rates because I would have failed that one miserably. Oh, this flower is beautiful. Lotus, very nice. Take your shoes off before you go inside. So just before going inside, let me tell you what this place is. It started as a vision of Thai millionaire Lek Varinapan, but he died before it was finished. So he passed the blueprints along to his son who ended up completing the project. Construction started back in 1994, but it didn't open to the public until 2003. So it is relatively new. You've probably seen this giant three-headed elephant in photos, but coming here, you realize how big it is. It's 29 meters tall and sits on top of a 15 meter tall pedestal, and it weighs an astounding 250 tons. The inside of the museum is a Hindu representation of the universe with each of the three floors inside telling a different part of the story. up in here but don't miss this little secret wooden door down here this is the ground floor meant to represent the underworld it's got some ceramics from the Ming and Qing dynasty and some old maps and artifacts from Siam and its history but I'm not allowed to take photos in there so you're gonna have to come yourself 
leave the underworld and go into the next section, the human world, which is inside this pink atrium. If you spend some time looking all around this room, you're gonna notice the incredible amount of detail, such as angel-like figurines carved into the handrails or the intricate glasswork. zoom out and you'll get the full impact of this room. There's four giant pillars stretching to the ceiling and it gives off this incredible colors and light. Each of the four pillars has scriptures that represent four branches of religion and mythology. They're Hinduism, Theravada, Manayana Buddhism, and Christianity. And then the epic part is walking up the stairs. So there is an elevator to take you up to the third and final floor that's meant to represent the heavens, but I highly recommend taking the stairs. We're inside one of the legs of one of the giant elephants right now in this endless spiral staircase. Man, Stanley Kubrick got another one for you. So I got up to the very top, which is the belly of the elephant. You go inside, it's a big dome, and it depicts the solar system inside the, what would be the top of one of the elephant bellies. There's some really cool uh, statues in there, a very nice shrine. Anyway, that is Erewhon, the king of all elephants, the god of all elephants. There's also some gardens just down out back behind the main museum. And if you want to spend some extra time here, you can kind of wander through these gardens. They also have some food and drink options here. Apparently the food's pretty good, I've heard, but I'm not gonna get any myself. Okay, so the big question is, where does Erewhon Museum deserve to be on the Bangkok list to rule them all? Man, I've been carrying this thing everywhere with me. It's starting to get a little ratty. All right, Mark had it at number 15. I'd give it this place like an hour. If you want to make more time out of it, there's a place nearby called the Ancient City, which they put you on a golf cart, zip you all around. If you combine that with this, that would give you at least a half a day. That has all the famous landmarks from all over Thailand. But Mark, we're gonna keep number 15 at the Erewhon Museum. I'd say you did a good job on this one, Mark. While I hydrate up and then figure out how I'm gonna get back home, get enough rest, and do this all again tomorrow. Hello. Hi, Gap. These guys were watching me film. What's your name? What's your name? Thai. My name is Thai. We're doing best in Bangkok, man. Best in Bangkok. You made the list, Thai. Mari Huana! <laughs> you heard it from Toy. Every day I've been out getting more and more exhausted, so I wanted to thank each and every one of you who's taken 10 minutes every day to follow along and watch these videos. Some of the best things about doing this are just bumping into guys like that as I get into new areas of Bangkok. I hope you're learning a lot about Bangkok. Now it's your time to guess what is next on the list. And if you're watching in the future, I'll put a link up. There it is right there, number 14. But if you're following along live, you're the exclusive club. Drop a comment below and guess. I like to see how many of you can get it.